Good morning. Good morning to you. How you doing? Come on and join us this morning for our Wednesday Bible study. Thank you so much for joining us, uh, the Concord Baptist Church. And we're so thankful for your uh, uh, making room for us today on your agenda as we look into the Word of God. Good morning. Uh, Trustee Hui, God bless you. Good morning. Good morning, Miss Peggy Surratt. Uh, and as you all continue to join in and comment, good morning, my friend, Brother Rex T. Edgerton. God bless you, my friend. Love you, man. To all of you, thank you so much. Uh, Trustee Bonner, thank you. And uh, uh, tell your family, tell your friends uh, that Pastor Bridges is on again. Oh, yeah. Text them. Let them know that we're going to have a wonderful Bible study today. Good morning, Miss Linda Faye. And yeah, well, we thank you so much for joining us today. Amen. Uh, we are so excited. Amen. Uh, about what God is doing. Good morning, Miss Davis. Good morning, Miss Miss Leach, Miss Tamika. Good morning to you. Amen. Good morning to uh, Karen, Patrick. God bless you, my friend and classmate. Miss Byers. Good morning, Miss Ruby. God bless you and Big John. Good morning. Amen. God bless you, Miss Crosby. Glad to have you with us. Amen. Miss Guest. Glad to have you as our honored guest this morning. God bless you, Miss uh, Lindsay. God bless you, Miss Lula Watts Gregory. What's up, cuz? Amen. Miss Henderson Undot on the spot. Kenny Baum in the house. Miss Sonora in the house this morning. Thank you all so very much for joining us. We are excited about this Bible study. Miss Shippy, good morning. And Miss Bonner, good morning to you. Amen. Again, we're excited this morning. We will continue part two, amen, of our Bible study on the hands lifted. Amen. Can you like that and say hands lifted? Amen. Whether they are face level or up above your head or you're standing on your toes, amen, it's all right, amen, to lift your hands in prayer. Amen. And again, we thank you so much, Miss Little John. Again, God bless you. And in the Brooklyn, New York, amen, uh, Miss uh, Bambi Fowler, good morning. Tiffany, good morning. Miss Ernestine, good morning. Let's bow our heads, amen. Father, we thank you for allowing us to gather this morning to, to study your word together uh, with our family and friends. Oh, God, we thank you for the Concord Baptist Church family, God, that reaches uh, beyond state lines, that reaches beyond county lines. God, that reaches beyond the walls of the sanctuary. Thank you for allowing us to gather today. Oh, God, we praise you and we lift you up and we magnify your name. Oh, God, you're worthy to be praised. Thank you for the beautiful uh, weather. Oh, God, the clouds are gone. The sky is blue. And God, there's a little breeze in the air. Thank you for allowing us to experience this season of the year. And I pray, oh, God, that you will allow us uh, to experience a wisdom, knowledge, and understanding today. You said if we lack wisdom, ask you. And God, we asking you for wisdom to help us on this uh, tedious journey. Hold our hands as we lift our hands in prayer. In Jesus' name, and the people said, amen. Huh? Did you say amen? All right, then. We're ready to go. Amen. I need you to uh, turn with me to the book of Timothy. 1 Timothy chapter 2, if you would turn there. And again, good morning to Reverend Williams. Good morning. Uh, Miss Gloria Davis, good morning. Miss, Miss Burgess, good morning. Miss Drain, good to see you with us again. Amen. Denise Bridges, good morning. Amen. To Trustee Norris. Amen. To uh, Miss McGill, Sheila, all of you. Amen. We're excited. 1 Timothy. Chapter 2. Amen. And as we turn there, I want you to know, uh, Miss Greg, all the way in Winston-Salem, thank you. And Miss Lakeisha, good morning to you. Miss Lamunda, amen. Glad to have you with us also. Now it says, amen, that First Timothy was written by Paul. Paul, amen, who 
uh, was converted. His first name in the Bible, when we meet him, his name was Saul. But um, how many of you know that when you meet the Lord, he'll change you? Amen. Then his name was changed to Paul. Amen. And he became a legend. Amen. In the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. First of all, he was against the gospel. But when God saves you, when you really say you love God, you can't help but to work for God. Amen. And he became a worker that worked across uh, the seas and oceans and rivers. Amen. He crossed into even territories where he was not welcome. Amen. Planting churches and, and, and trying to encourage the saints. Amen. And trying to persuade the ants. Huh? Did y'all get that right? Huh? Somebody, somebody better go. Somebody better go write that down. Cause um, tell Jay Z is a gospel rapper out here. Amen. Now he 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 told them, and he was trying to get them. Amen. To 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 encourage one another. And here, when we pick up in First Timothy chapter two, he was teaching them the importance of praying for one another. Good morning, Miss Thomas, and good morning, Miss. Posey, glad to have you with us, cuz. God bless you. Amen today. Now, if you will, let's go to 1 Timothy chapter 2, and we're going to start with verse 8. Amen. We're going to start with verse 8. Good morning, uh, Mr. Guest. Good morning, my friend. Glad to have you with us again. All right. All right. Here we go. Amen. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 8. I want you to read it out loud if you can, and if you have to whisper, you know what to do. Come on. Let's do it. I will, therefore, that men pray everywhere, lifting up holy hands without wrath and doubting. Amen. Amen. If you got a highlighter, you need to highlight this. Amen. This is what Paul, this is one of Paul's favorite positions of prayer. Amen. Maybe when he was locked in jail, amen, in Acts, amen, excuse me, when, when he, when Paul and Silas, Amen. Somebody say Paul and Silas. Amen. Paul and Silas was in jail without a bail. I don't know if the chains restricted them or they had just enough hands length to put their hands in the air. Amen. But I, I want to tell you something. Amen. Now lean, lean in, lean in, lean in, lean in. I want to tell you something. Amen. We can learn a lot for people who have had success. Paul had monumental success serving God. Amen. In his ministry, in the way he taught. But here he's teaching us how to pray. Amen. We're going to look, amen, uh, at verse 8. Amen. We already read it, but let's look at it. Let, let's look at this thing and, and we're going to break it down. Notice what he said. I will, therefore. In other words, what Paul was saying, amen, if, if, if I could teach you anything about prayer, I wish, I would like that men and women and children would pray Amen. That they would pray everywhere. Amen. Not just in church. Amen. Not, not just those, amen, on, on the mission. Not just those who are holding hands in the circle. He said, but everywhere you go and for every person, every, every nationality, whoever you are, that men everywhere, amen, if you want a powerful prayer and want God to move on your prayer, Paul said, lift up holy hands. It's something about lifting up those hands in prayer. Amen. Amen. That's why sometimes, amen, when I, when, when my hands are free and, and, and the microphone is in the stand or on the podium, amen, I, I like my hands to be free so I can express myself. Amen. You can do it with a microphone, but if you're not careful, amen, you, 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 you might hit yourself with the microphone or you might accidentally drop the microphone, but I want my hands sometime to be free when I'm working for the Lord. Because somebody put out there, sometimes your, your hands need to be free when you're working for the Lord. I need, I need somebody, I need a few people to put that out there because Paul said it worked for me. And Paul said, if it worked for me, I know it'll work for you. Now, not just any hands. He said, holy hands. Amen. In other words, he's saying, you got to I already ask God for forgiveness now. Amen. You just can't, uh, you can't be in, in the midst of, 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 of deceitfulness and wrongdoing and hindering the church. Amen. But, but if he need us to have holy hands, 
Yeah, yeah, these hands have done some bad things, but but they're holy because I asked God to forgive me and, and, and cleanse me of all unrighteousness. Good Lord Almighty. Mm. Yeah, some people might have sticky hands, but when you ask God to for, forgive you, he'll remove that stickiness from them hands. Amen. He'll remove that hurt from them hands. And they got to be holy hands. In other words, you got to have good intent. I need somebody to put out their good intent. Some, I, I need somebody, somebody, somewhere, wherever you are, good in your, your prayer and your hands have to have good intent. Oh, they're starting to come in now. I'm on a delay on this side, but I'm feeling good already. Huh? And then look what else he said. He said, without wrath. Yeah. Wrath means you, you, you're not trying to get nobody back. You no, know, you're, not, you're not trying to pray hurt on nobody. You're not trying to pray um, hindered blessings in somebody's life. You got you got to be wrath free, huh? You can, you can't be wrathful. In other words, I'm gonna get you back attitude. Lord, I'm coming to you to praying with my hands up and I'm praying with them up because I took boxing lesson and they told me to always keep my hands up. No, no, not, not that kind of hands up. Not trying to get nobody back. Not trying to fight. Not trying to fuss, not trying to start no trouble. Hey Amen. I'm like the 1985 Chicago Bears. We didn't come to start no trouble. We just come to do the Super Bowl shuffle. Y'all remember that? Huh? Yeah, you 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 you, you can't have hurt and, and hatred all in your heart when you're praying for 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 for, for, for God to move. Oh, y'all's talking in here. I see you, Miss Corvais. God bless you for joining us. Brother Holly McClooney, thank you for joining us. You got to have good intent. And again, if you don't come in, I cannot see who you are. Oh, but if you do come in, I can see what you're saying. Huh? And for those who are not able to come in, I love you. Thank you for joining us today. You're special. You're special to me. You're special to God. Good morning, Janine. Good to have you on the scene. Amen. Now notice what it said. And then it said, and doubting. The number one thing about prayer is you cannot doubt your prayer. You got to mean it. Hands up, mean it. Something will happen. Now let's go to verse one. We're going to look at this briefly because I, 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 we're going to talk about a few more things that Paul taught us about prayer. And again, if you know somebody who, who prayer life works, maybe we can learn something from them. And that's one thing I like to love about the Bible and about people that I know, because I know some real live uh, 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 act, active people in the faith that gets their prayer through. And those are the type of people you want to to, to talk with and 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 maybe uh, uh, get some advice or some instructions on how to be effective in your prayer. Good morning, Miss Gray. Good morning, Miss Crocker. Amen. God bless you. Yeah. Now, here we go. Look at verse 1. 1 Timothy, amen, chapter 2 and verse 1. Come on. Ready to read that. Come on, let's read it. I exhort, therefore, that first of all, supplications, prayers, intercessions, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Yeah. When you pray, pray for everybody. Pray, pray for them. Yeah, for all of them. They, they might not like you, but pray for them. They might not know you, but pray for them. If you can, amen. And if and some of them, amen, might uh, despitefully use you and, and say all manner against you, amen, uh, uh, for God's, for Jesus' name's sake. But the Bible said rejoice and be exceeding glad when men despise you for the gospel. Good morning, Miss Aquilo. Nice to have you with us. Yeah, you, you got to believe it. And, and, and he said, that's what you got to do first, your supplication. Supplication is, 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 is the supplies you need, your requests, your prayers. The interse intercession is that you are helping somebody else. Yeah, you praying, but, but your purpose is for them. You interceding for them. You're trying to help them. 
amen, you trying to help the lady across the street with the, the bags, amen, with the, 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 with the buggy, amen, the, the man with the buggy, amen, and, and, and Erica the Badu said, the paperback lady, you got to help them sometimes. They they can't hold it up. The grocery falling out. The canned good. Ma'am, if I can just help you, put that in your car. That's how we have to do in prayer. When we see people struggling with life and issues, intercede for them. Good Lord Almighty, you know they're not sleeping well. Intercede for them. You know, amen, that thing is bothering them. And that thing is turning them every which way but loose. Amen. You intercede for them. God, give them some help to set them free. Hmm? You got to intercede. And sometimes they don't even know they need it. But you see what they need. Amen. And God sees what we need before we ask him. He intercedes for us. He's at the right hand of the Father helping us. Right now, he's probably praying for me right now. saying, Lord, help him. Good morning, Connie. Weeks, my classmate, God bless you, Miss Fair. Glad to see you there. Mm -hmm. All of you. Miss Wittenberg, the Reverend do it, Wittenberg. God bless you. Re Brother Huey, God bless you, my friend. How you doing, man? Hope all is well. Hope you were getting stronger. Let's go quickly. Quickly to verse two. We got to get out of here. Verse two. It said, but for kings and all and for all that are in authority, that we may lead a quiet and peaceable life in all go godliness and honesty. Yes, your leaders lots of time will determine if your life is peaceful. Huh? Seem like things in this great country of ours have settled down now since we got a new leader. <laughs> Huh? When there's good leaders, when there's good parents, when there's good supervisors, when there's good company owners, when there's good pastors, when there's good Sunday school teachers, when there's good deacons, when there's good musicians, where they are good everything, amen, seem like everything is more peaceful. Where there's good coaches, where there's good, amen, CEOs, whether they're good doctors, it seems like, and I know for a fact, it will be more peaceful. Amen. We, we, we got to pray for that. Pray for that. You might not even know them, but you can still pray for them. Pray for your leaders. Good Lord Almighty. Don't talk about them. Pray for them. Amen. Amen. The old song said, you talk about me as much as you please, but I'll talk about you when I'm on my knees. In other words, I'm going to pray for you. Anybody ever heard that before? Amen. That's what prayer would do. We're talking about lifted up hands. And all the time, he's he talking about doing this with your hands lifted. Amen. Here we go. Next stop. Our next stop today is Nehemiah. Amen. Nehemiah. Amen. We will find Nehemiah in the Old Testament. Amen. We have Nehemiah in the Bible and we have Jeremiah. Amen. And oh, for both of those guys, God was working on them and set their soul on fire. Hmm. Yes, he did. You'll find Nehemiah there just before the book of Esther. Amen. Just before the book of Esther, you'll find Nehemiah. You see, when you get to Nehemiah and, and we learn about him, he'll take us higher. <laughs> oh, I need about, about 25 folk to put in there. Nehemiah will take you higher. <laughs> yes, he will. Connie Tate, are all my classmates in here today. God bless you, Connie. Oh, yeah. Trustee Norris, glad to have you with us. Oh, y'all tuning in. Annie Little John, thank you. Oh, y'all doing it. Y'all doing it. Huh? I'm looking for it. I haven't seen it yet. Nehemiah will take you higher. I, I, I need somebody to put that out there. I'm feeling good in here. I'm feeling good today. Good Lord Almighty. Amen. Nehemiah. Amen. He was a cupbearer to the king. So he knew. Amen. About leadership. Amen. And he knew about God. He knew about God's comfort. Nehemiah did. Nehemiah knew about this. Amen. And then what I want you to go to is Nehemiah chapter 8. 
Nehemiah chapter 8. Amen. I wish we could go over this whole thing, but we just don't have, amen, we have to stay on schedule with our, our, our scheduled topic, which is hands lifted in prayer. But but Nehemiah will take you higher. Huh? Oh, some, I think y'all got it out there. We got the Nehemiah Club out there. I see y'all coming in. Miss Henderson, Doc, uh, Doc Miss Gloria, my friend Ramona Corey, Ramona Benita. God bless you. Oh, y'all got it in there. I see you in there, uh, uh, Deacon S. Blanton. Oh, Nehemiah. We'll take you high. I see y'all. Yes, he will. It's a good book to read. I see you, Miss Holmes. I see you, Miss Edwards. Oh, y'all doing it. Y'all doing it out there. Oh, y'all are doing it out there. Yes, he will. Now, let's go to Nehemiah. We're going to go to verse 5, chapter 8. Chapter 8. We got to get out of here. But this is very important because, again, he worked hand-in-hand -hand with Ezra. Amen. Ezra was, amen, the... Amen. Uh, 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 the, 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 the prophet at the time. And it's good, amen, to, to have somebody who, who you know that's close to God in your life. And I want to thank you for, for being with us today, for sharing this important information. Nehemiah chapter 8 and verse 5. Come on, let's read it. Let me hear you. Oh, I wish I could hear you. I'm just so used to saying that. I can't wait to get back in church. But you read it out loud anyway. I can't hear you, but God can hear you. Maybe somebody beside you can hear you. Maybe your neighbors can hear you. Maybe your co-workers can hear you. Read it out loud. Make the devil mad. Come on, verse 5. Ready, read. And Ezra opened the book in the sight of all people. For he was above all the people. Hmm. And when he opened it, all the people stood up. I need everybody to highlight that verse right there. Amen. I need everybody to highlight Nehemiah 8 right there in verse 5. And we're going to talk about this thing because I, I remember and I still hear it every some every once in a while. And I, I and I understand that if you if you have a problem uh, and you can't stand at church or if you got a problem and you you know your legs hurting or you even holding a baby and then baby sleep and all like that and and sometimes you can't follow the, the directions of the pastor or, or, or who's ever at the mic the preacher or the deacon or the or, or, or the or the or the praise leader whoever there asking everybody to stand but but here is very important even in church that all the people stood up good morning Somebody say all the people. I need about somebody. I need a few people to put out there. All the people stood up. All of them did. Amen. All of. I'm not, not now. Now I'm not saying if you you got a problem now and, and you're not able to, but but if you can stand, there's something about standing together in the house of the law. If it worked in the Old Testament, if it worked in the, Jesus stood up to read. And then why is it that some people in today say, oh, there you go again. Pastor want us to stand. It's, it's, some, it's, it's some power in the standing together. Good Lord Almighty. I'm, I'm getting excited in here. I'm getting excited in here. I, I'm getting excited in here. Now, we're going to go back to the first part where it says, amen, in verse 5, it said, amen, uh, Nehemiah, amen, chapter 8, amen, in verse 5. Amen. There in verse five, it said, and Ezra, amen, opened the book in the sight of the people. Yeah. In other words, he wasn't trying to hide the Bible. That's why when I, we do Bible study today, I want you to open your Bible. We even try to put the scriptures up there for you to see because uh, we don't have nothing. God doesn't have anything to hide. God wants all of his worshipers and followers to be powerful. Amen. Many are not powerful because they do not exercise. They do not practice. They do not uh, worship God. They do not participate in faith builders. <laughs> yeah, these are faith builders. Holding up the hands in prayer is a faith builder. Amen. It's a faith builder. Can somebody put out there as a faith builder? It's a faith builder. Amen. In sight, for he was above all the people. He was above them because, again, the pulpit, most of the time, is a little higher than the level that the people are on. Huh? 
symbolizing Moses going up on the mountain to get the word. And the people was at the foot of the mountain and Moses spoke to them. The, the word falls down. Amen. When blessings go up, when praises go up, blessings come down. Amen. Sometimes, amen, we're not in a position for the blessing to fall down. Down. Amen. That's why when Jesus was on that ship, amen, and he told them to back off uh, just a little bit off the land so that he used that 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 that, that ship, uh, Peter uh, ship and John's ship was there. He used it as a pulpit. So the sound can, can 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 drop down on you. Good Lord Almighty. Ain't the Lord all right? Huh? Yeah. Oh, Lord, there's something about it. Faith builders. I see you out there putting it out there. The faith builder club. Good Lord Almighty. Yes, it will. Now, my first question, well, my next question for the day is, when we read Paul a little bit ago, 1 Timothy chapter 2, who did Paul say we need to pray for? I just want to know if some of y'all remember the answer. I got to see it out there. Who did Paul say we need to pray for? And then how do we need to pray? That's the question that's on the floor. And then it said, and when he opened it, all the people stood up. So again, some churches don't do it, but it's okay. But some do it, and, and, and it's okay. But don't knock the church that does it and don't do it. Maybe at that time, they need to sit and eat. Good Lord Almighty. Woo! They need to sit and eat the bread of life. But it is okay to stand too. Amen. So if we just follow the directions of the person that's leading the worship that day or the worship, that moment of worship, if we follow those directions, I guarantee you, you'll be in the right position for uplifting hands. Amen. Now we're going to verse, uh, 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 verse six here. Nehemiah 8 and verse 6. We got to get out of here. Amen. It said, and, and Ezra blessed the Lord. That's what he did. The great God. He, he, that's who he blessed. And it said, and all the people answered, amen. Oh, hold right there. It said, all the people said, amen. Same stuff preachers say today. Amen. Can, 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 it, can you say amen? There he go again. I ain't saying what he said. Wait a minute. Let me tell you something. If it worked in the Old Testament, if it worked in the New Testament, why don't you think it'll work now? <laughs> See, that's not nothing the, the preacher just telling you what to say. God bless you, uh, uh, Pastor Black. I love you, man. He said here that, that that's what the direction that was given to them. And then they did it. The people was obedient and worship which made it a corporate worship and not a private worship. Amen. Some worship were private, some were corporate. And then it said, everybody said amen with their hands, lifted up their hands. Good Lord Almighty. Amen. They worship like we worship. And God great, great things for them because they were in a time of captivity and, 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 and religious uh, 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 oppression. Good Lord Almighty. And we don't have near the oppression that they had, but we do have sometimes political uh, uh, struggles that we have to face every day. But please know that the same posture that Paul used, the same posture that, that Ezra and Nehemiah talked about is the same thing me and you, me and you, you and I, you and I, the same thing all of us can use Amen. To let God know we're real in our prayer. Good Lord Almighty. Yeah. I'm looking for the answer to them questions I asked a while ago. I don't see it yet. I know my, 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 my delay is not that bad. What did Paul tell Timothy in, in 1 Timothy chapter 2? What, what, who we need to pray for? And then he told us how we need to pray. I need somebody to put them answers out there. I need somebody, at least hope somebody was listening to and we're growing together this morning. I need that answer out there. Thank you so much for putting it out there. And then it said, and they bowed their heads and worshiped the Lord with their faces to the ground. Yeah, yeah, their face to the ground. Amen. We're going to talk about that maybe the next time we get into the faces to the ground. 
Amen. But right now we're focusing on those hands lifted. Those hands lifted. Come on, I need some answers to these questions. Amen. As y'all look for them answers, I'm ready for them. I need y'all to turn to Second Chronicles uh, chapter 6. Because we're moving today. This is going to be our last day of studying on hands lifted. Amen. This is our last day studying on hands lifted. And we're so thankful. We're so thankful to have you with us today. Amen. Amen. How, how did how did how did Paul? Who did Paul tell us to pray pray for in First Timothy chapter two? Amen. We just went over it, and then he told us, Amen, how to pray. Amen. I'm gonna go on. Maybe, maybe y'all gonna come back with that later. But I hope somebody come with the answer. God bless you. Second Chronicles chapter six. Let's go there. Second Chronicles come right after First Chronicles, amen, which is the sixth book in the list there of the triple doubles, amen, of the triple doubles is second, yeah, intercession for all men, y'all coming through, good afternoon, Miss Little John, yeah, he said pray for all people, and who else he said pray for, he said pray for somebody else, all people, and who else? This is very important. If you're going to advance in your life in the gospel, you have to learn how. We have to learn how. Amen. We have to teach others how. Amen. We have to lead by example how. We have to pray for our leaders. I just gave you a hint right there. I just gave you a hint right there. Second Chronicles chapter 6. Looking at verse 12, 2 Chronicles chapter 6, and verse 12. Amen. God bless you. For kings, thank you. Thank you, Miss Blanton. Thinking that's Blanton. For all people, for our leaders. There you go. Y'all coming in there now. That's what we say pray for. You got to pray for your leaders. Amen. Leaders need prayer. Parents need prayer. Amen. Whether you're leading one person or you're leading 200,000 million. <laughs> All leaders need godly advice to, 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 to do what's best for those you're leading. Amen. For those you're leading. Amen. Now, there's a, there's a difference between leading people and walking in front of them. <laughs> huh? <laughs> See, some people just walk in front of people. But just because you're walking in front of them don't mean you're leading them. A leader has a plan. And a way to get them, amen, to success. Them all for them, for they all can be successful. Now, if you're just walking in front of them, you don't have a plan. You're just going for a walk. So there's a difference. God bless you. That's why we got to pray for our leaders. Amen. That's why we got to pray for. Come on. Second Chronicles chapter 6. We got to try to get out of here on time and finish these verses. Chapter 6. I need you to go down to verse 12. Second Chronicles chapter 6. Down to verse 12. Amen. That's where we are. Amen. And we need to talk about this because this here is Solomon talking about his father, David. God bless you, Miss Petty. Lisa Petty down in, uh, uh, in, in Georgia. Thank you for joining us. Loretta Watts. God is good. Thank you for joining us. Verse 12. Come on, let's read. Tamika, come on. Let's read. And he stood before the altar of the Lord. In the presence of all the congregation of Israel and spread forth his hands. He stood there in front of them. In front. He was in front. The leader is in front. Amen. The leader is in front. Jesus told his disciples to follow me. He had a plan for them. He, he just wasn't taking them on a walk or a hike. But in order to get to certain stages of blessings and development, you have to follow your pastor. You have to follow your leader. You have to follow your parents. You have to follow your, your, your supervisor. They have a plan for us. Good morning, Miss Shippey. Glad to have you with us. Miss Ethel Scott is on the spot. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes. Now, notice what he said. Now, notice again that, 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 that in Nehemiah, he was in front of the people. 
So not only when we pray and do things, amen, it teaches others how to do it. Amen. I need you to do me a favor. We hadn't done this today. Tap yourself on the shoulder. You can pick which shoulder you want to. Amen. You can pick which one you want to to start off with. Amen. And then I want you to say to yourself, amen, I'm a leader. You're a leader. You're leading somebody. Amen. You are a leader. Now I want you to tap your other shoulder. Amen. And then I want you to ask this, this question. Are you leading them the right way? Yeah. See, don't nobody know that answer but you. Yes. But when we follow God, he leads us the right way. Now notice what he said. He said he stood up in front of the people. He spread his hands. Come on. Verse uh, 13. Verse 13. Second Chronicles 6 and verse 13. Amen. God bless you. Come on. Let's read it together. For Solomon had made a brazen scaffold of five cubits long and five cubits broad, which means wide, and three cubits high, and had set it in the midst of the court, and upon it he stood. Amen. I want you to stop right there and say pulpit. Yeah. He, he was uplifted again. He was just a little bit higher. And that's why in the church, the pulpit is a little higher, amen, than uh, the normal the floor. I'm not talking about the balcony. Of course, we know that. But the regular floor, uh, the most of the time, the pulpit is a little higher uh, than floor level. And so he made him a little pulpit. And when he made it, he stood there and he kneeled down upon his knees there at the pulpit before the congregation, which he was teaching them how to pray. And, and when you see your leaders pray and hear your leaders pray for you, amen, it helps your faith. Good morning, Miss Jeffries. Thank you so much for joining us. Miss Henderson, thank you both. Amen. Yeah, it made him a pulpit. Amen. Thank you so much. Now, what it says there, and then... And that last part said, and he spread forth his hands toward heaven. Goodness. It's something about praying with your hands toward heaven. That's all I'm trying to tell you. It's all right to pray with your hand in your pocket sometime. <laughs> Amen. I'm, I'll, I mean, sometime when I'm, I'm at the pulpit, sometime I'll, I'll hold the sides of it at, at some time when I'm praying or preaching. But sometime, amen, I'll let that thing go when I reach toward heaven. Because there's no other help I know. Huh? Father, I stretch in my hand. We ask some brother, some sister for, amen, a, a tune. As we lift this hymn, Father, I stretch my hands to thee. No other help I know. Come on. Y'all join in with me. This old school singing right here. Father. I'll stretch. Y'all remember that? Yes. My hand to thee. No one. Yeah. Yeah. I know. Y'all don't remember when they used to sing it like that, do you? Huh? Huh? If I did draw thyself from me, oh, where the shall I go? Good morning, Miss A. Reed. God bless you. God bless you. Jacqueline Payton, God bless you. Huh? See, that's how they used to sing, and, 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 and they knew about, that's how we made it. It's black history, amen, but it's everybody's history. That if you lift your hands, if good Lord Almighty, if they lift their hands. It's something about lifting your hands, y'all. That's all Rev trying to tell you. I see you, cuz. I see you, Michelle. Good morning to you. Good afternoon, rather. All right, Brother William. I love you, man. Huh? There's something about that. That that is still move. That still make grandmas move in the pew. <laughs> There's something about that song that'll make grandpa's move in the pew. 
It work on young people too. They they might that's why we can't let them forget. Lord have mercy. If it were good for them, it's good for us. Good morning, Terry Wright. Ter Mr. Terry Wright, Robin Allen, good morning. Annie Bridget Caldwell, good morning. Earl, good morning. Jacqueline Hicks, good morning. Paul, good morning, Paul. Good Lord of Last week, Paul, I said, you Paul, and I'm silenced. We're going to pray and sing in here. Paul, Silas, and all, all of us. There's something about lifting those hands. Don't be embarrassed. Good Lord of mine. I need about, I need, I need some people to put that out there. Don't be embarrassed. No. Do not be embarrassed. I'm talking to you. You know God working on you and want you to worship and, and get into the program and the worship. And, and, and you think you 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 still you can't be ashamed to lift your hands. Good Lord of mine. Hmm? Huh? Walmart, gas station, schoolhouse, huh? Hospital, amen. I, I, I lift my hands, <laughs> huh? If it hit me, I got to, I got to lift them. <laughs> you might lead somebody else to Christ. You might be a leader right then and there by telling somebody, "I can't wait till I get home. I got to lift my hands and pray right now." Doctor just gave me some. I got to pray right now. Don't don't wait too long. Don't wait too long, Lord of Mighty. Don't wait too long. I, you know who that's for. You know who it's for. Don't wait too long, Good Lord of Mighty. Mr. Rody, God bless you, Mr. Gerody, Mr. G. Yeah, don't be embarrassed. Amen. You'd be embarrassed if you would have prayed and your prayer would have been answered. But because you didn't do it when 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 the God prompted you or when uh, the, the, the worship leader uh, prompted you, amen, you missed out. Good God Almighty. God is good. I see you, Miss Humphreys. We got you on the prayer list. We got you. God is good. Don't be embarrassed to lift your hands in prayer. God, we got to get out of here. Did we do verse... We did that verse. We did we did 13. Yeah. Hands toward heaven. Come on. Exodus 17. We got to get there. We got to get out of here. We got to get out of here. But don't be embarrassed to, to pray the way you pray. Don't be embarrassed to sing the way you sing. Don't be embarrassed to drive what you're blessed with. <laughs> don't be embarrassed to wear what's in your closet. Mm -hmm. Don't be embarrassed. To wear the shoes that's under your old bed. Huh? Be thankful for what God bless you with. And when you raise your hands and tell God you appreciate it, he might just fix it <laughs> for new things to come into your midst. God will do it. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. Mm-hmm, he will. Yes, he will. Amen. Exodus 17. Now, we looked at some serious leaders in here today. We looked at Paul. We looked at Nehemiah. We looked at Ezra. We looked at Solomon. And if God moved through those guys and women in their time, lifting up hands together, oh, Lord, there's something about it. It'll still work for us. Let's look at Moses. Moses was another great Bible, biblical leader. It is believed that Moses led millions of people, millions, before computers. <laughs> yeah. Before, amen, AT&T, Bell South, before any type of uh, phones or computers, before Alexander Graham Bell, was even born. Moses was leading thousands. He had good leadership qualities. His father-in-law told him to, 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 to appoint some leaders to help him. Yeah, it takes leaders. It takes leaders, not one, not a leader. Yes, it takes a leader, but then it takes leaders to work with that leader, and then it takes followers to follow the leader. 
Amen. And that's why, amen, I, I want to tell you that uh, that game I miss as, as a child is, uh, is, you know, how you follow the leader and, and, and do little games like that. The kids used to do little games like that. Uh, it, yeah, we, some people say they're little silly games, but it teaches a lesson. It teaches a lesson. Good morning. We got to get out of here. Amen. Uh, Exodus chapter 17. Man, tick, time is ticking. Ticking is time. Oh, it's moving fast. It's moving fast. Exodus 17. This is the story of Moses. Amen. As Moses, amen, was, was with Joshua and her, who were uh, his appointed friends that were there to help him. Amen. And, and um, we want to look here. Amen. Uh, and that, that, that they all was there. And, and just like the people in Texas, amen, a lot of them don't have any water right now. And, and at this time, there was no water for them to drink as they were journeying. Amen. And then uh, let's go to verse uh, 2. You can read verse 1 on your own. But let's go to verse 2. Amen. And I apologize out there, but we need to go to verse 2. Amen. Uh, 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 Exodus 17 and verse 2. And then uh, we're going to get to our other verse in just a minute. Amen. Ready? Let's read. It says, Wherefore the people did chide with Moses. Amen. That's what it said. The people did chide with him. Amen. They chided with him. Amen. And, 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 and with Moses and said, Give us water that we may drink. And Moses said unto them, Why chide ye with me? Wherefore do ye tempt the Lord? In other words, he said, I'm doing what God told you me to tell you to do. I'm telling you what God said. And, and that's why we got to pray for our leaders. Because if we're not careful, we'll be the same ones, amen, criticizing them. Or either we'll be the ones, amen, that, 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 that's, that's uh, harassing them. Yes, these were the same people. Amen. And that's why, again, a leader has to understand, don't take it personal. Amen. A lot of time it's not you. A lot of time, and that's why Moses said unto them, why are you tempting God? You know God done been good to us all these years and done brought us this far, and now all of a sudden you want to turn on God and not obey the, the instructions that's given? Amen. That's what he's talking about. Amen. We just had to set this up. Amen. Let's move on. Amen. And then uh, uh, that's what we're talking about there. Amen. In, in, in Exodus 17. Amen. And then I want to also tell you in verse 17, amen, uh, that the word chide means that they were in strife with him. Amen. That they had uh, complaints and their conduct wasn't nice toward him. And that's why we got to make sure we pray for our leaders. We got to have good conduct towards them. Amen. Even when they are, we feel as if they are causing more trouble uh, than, than, than helping. <laughs> Just pray for them. And, 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 and God will move. And, 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 and how many know God will move? <laughs> if God don't move the situation, he'll move the leader. Yeah. But if you pray, now you got to pray. Now, we got to get out of here pretty quick. Now, if you will, let's go down to verse 8. We got to go down to verse 8. And we're going to try to get out of here. Come on. Verse 8. Right in the street. It said, Then came Amalek and fought with Israel and refired them. Yeah. These were other people. The out, those who did not follow God, amen, that came along, amen, that, that, that they fought with Israel. They fight with your family. They fight with your job. They fight with your co-workers. They fight with your church family. But that's why we need praying people in the midst. Verse 9, come on, come on, verse 9. We got to get out of here. Ready and read. And Moses said unto Joshua, choose us out men and go out, fight with Amalek tomorrow. I will stand on the top of the hill with the rod of God in my hand. He, in other words, he's saying, uh, uh, you, you got to find the right people. You got to find the right group. Uh, have you heard of committees? Yeah, committees are, are, are part or appointed by a leader to help do certain things. Yeah, and if you do your part, the leader can do his part. Good Lord of money. I need about, I need somebody out there. I need a few people to put out there. If you do your part, <laughs> then the leader can do his part or her part. Yeah, yeah. Let, let's say it like this. If you do your part, the leader can do their part. Hmm? Whether it's a male or female, God uses both, male and female. He uses young and old. Amen. He uses rookies and pros. Amen. <laughs> it doesn't matter. God uses people that he can trust. 
He uses people that he can trust. And he said, Joshua, you choose out you some guys. You choose out you some men. You put, you, you, you choose out you a committed. You choose out you a, a, a group of people. And, and you go down there and talk with them. Now, the battle, I want to say this. The battle is not always on the battlefield. Come on. Can somebody put that out there? Do I have a delay of what on my end? The battle is not always on the battlefield. Sometimes the battle is, is at, the, at, the, at the meeting. <laughs> Huh? Sometimes the the, 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 the the battle is going to the parent a teacher conference. Yep. Sometimes the meeting, amen, the battle, amen, is going down to the to, 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 to the to the station, amen, or to the ballot place and casting your vote. That's the battle. The battle is not always on the battlefield. Can somebody put that out there for me? I, I'm, I'm looking for it. I got a delay on my end. Thank you so much. Yes, sir. It's not always there. But if you do your part, the leader can do their part. Come on, verse 10. Come on. Come on, verse 10. We got to get out of here. Ready and read. So Joshua did as Moses had said to him and fought with Amalek. Amen. That, that, was, that was part of the group. Amen. A, a, a good follower does what the leader requests. <laughs> Amen. I need to do me a favor. Tap yourself on both shoulders. <laughs> See, y'all didn't know nothing about that both shoulder back. Y'all were thinking I'm going to say one. Oh, yeah, we mixing it up today. And then ask yourself, am I a good follower? Ask yourself that. Are you a good follower? Because look at here. Joshua did exactly what he was asked to do. And then notice what happened in the second part of verse 10. It said, Moses, Aaron, and Hur went up to... Up, up to the top of the hill. They went there. See, everybody's battle is not in the same place. Huh? But if you do your part in the body of Christ, oh, we will win this fight. Huh? 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 Hmm? In this army of the Lord. Huh? Are you saved? Are you sanctified? Are you filled with the Holy Ghost? Huh? It's time for a song. I'm a soldier in the army of the Lord. Are you? Huh? Are you one? I need some. I need a few yeses to come through. I can't hear you. I can't see you. But are you a soldier? Huh? Um, come on. Y'all sing with me. Black History Month. Come on. I'm a soldier. In this army of the Lord, I'm a soldier. In this army, I'm a soldier. In this army of the Lord, I'm a soldier. In this army, huh? Y'all don't remember that flashback, do you? <laughs> do you remember that one? <laughs> do you remember that one? We got to get out of here. <laughs> See, when you're a soldier in the army of the Lord, we, 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 all of our fight is not on the battlefield. Sometimes it's in the prayer closet. <laughs> Sometimes, amen, it's just being a light wherever you go. Huh? Even with your mask on, you still should be, they still should be able to tell that there's a child of God behind that man. God bless you, Janice Penny, all the way in North Carolina. Amen. Thank you so much. Maybe Virginia still, I can't quite recall, but one of them. All right. We're getting it. We're all, we having a good time in here. We got to get out of here. We did that. So, so Moses was in this place. Joshua and them was in their place. Amen. Now notice what it said, verse eleven. Come on, we got to get out of here. Verse eleven. Amen. We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna, we got to speed up just a tad. Come on. And it came to pass when Moses held up his hands, when Moses held up his hands, that Israel prevailed. See, when a leader lifts up his hands and praise God, when a parent lifts up his or her hands and do what you're supposed to do. See, a lot of people want children, but they don't want to be responsible. <laughs> you got a responsibility. 
And when you when the parent does his part or, or the parent does her part, God will do his part. Good Lord Almighty. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Well, much is given, much is required. And in that requiredness, to hold up your hand. Now notice it said when when he held his hand, but when he let his hands down, Amalek prevailed. Good Lord Almighty. The enemy. Yep, when you slack and not doing what you're supposed to do, the devil is gaining territory. Yeah. All right, Ed, Rex, I see you, Doc. Thank you for spending your lunch with us. Bless you. All of you spending your lunch with us. Thank you so much. Marilyn, all right, thank you, Sister Janice. I knew you, you was on the move. Glad to have you with us all the way by Gaffney, South Carolina. Amen. People all over get from Gaffney all over the world making this world a better place. Yes, good things can come out of Gaffney. Oh, I'm telling you it can. And it is, and it will continue to come out of Gaffney. Amen. Now, notice what it said, but we, we're in verse 12. We got to get out. Now, notice he... He has some help. Verse 12. Everybody, everybody. Come on, Tamika. But Moses' hands were heavy. See, a leader, sometimes the, the, the road can get heavy. Sometimes the load can get heavy. It said, and they took a stone and put it under him. They, he didn't even have a long chair like we have. They, they, they just put a rock under and let it sit on the rock. Amen. And put it under him. And he sat on the rock. And Aaron and Hera stayed up his hands. The one on the one side and the other on the other side and his hands were steady until the going down of the sun. So he had his hands up and, 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 and a leader's job is to pray for the people and to worship God for the people. So his hands was up. Amen. If you don't believe it, you hold your hand up for about three minutes and see if your arm get tired. It'll get tired. That's why he needed some help. That's why uh, 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 it says Aaron and her were there to help him. And don't get jealous of, of other people helping your leader. <laughs> That's what happens so many times. People get jealous of other people. Well, you might not can help your leader in that capacity, but help him by praying for him and help him in other ways. He only had two arms. He had one on each side. Joshua was helping another way. So don't get jealous and frustrated about other people helping your leader. You should be happy that there are people there to help your leader. I'm just trying to help somebody here understand it takes a, all of the followers to help your leader. Yes, that's what it takes. Amen. Perez Gas, thank you for joining us. Oh, boy, this is a good lesson. Amen. So this is what we have. Amen. And so again, they won. And they called the place. You can read the rest of it on your own. Je Jehovah Nisi, God is my banner. Maybe it was symbolizing holding up a banner. We are the Lord's. Amen. Anybody ever went to a football game? Huh? You have a, a basketball game or a game where they call out the starting lineup, even a track meet. Sometimes before they have a marathon, they all meet there. Amen. They, they have the world-class runners in the front because they don't want them way in the back because they're going to be in front of people anyway. Put them at the front. But one thing I want to say to you, uh, last time I went to a high school game, the cheerleaders were out there and they had a banner. And, and when the team got ready to come out, when the band hit that note, boom. Y'all know what that is. It's something about the music and the hands up and running through the banner. You should be excited to be on God's side. That's all I'm saying. You should be excited to work for God, to be on the playing field of life, making a difference for God. And then while you do that, you lift your hands in prayer. You lift your hands in prayer and don't be ashamed and watch God move in your life. That's it for today. Oh, man, we had a wonderful Bible study. Amen. God bless you, uh, Demita Bridges. Thank you for signing on. We thank you so very much. Again, we love all of you. And I pray something was said to encourage you to lift your hands in prayer. Amen. And as we talk about praying, there are some that require prayer. All of us do. I know I do. 
Amen. But then there's others who are going through. We ask your prayers for uh, today. Amen. One, we want to ask your prayers for the Watts family. On last night, Reverend Michael Watts, the son of the late Wilbert Watts and Miss Tecora Watts, amen, went home to be with the Lord. Amen. Please keep his wife, uh, Miss Peggy, in your prayers and his children and, and all of the Watts family, his brothers and, and his sister. Amen. Uh, uh, Miss Kathy, pray for all of them. Amen. Having a difficult time. Please remember the Rogers family on um, tomorrow, on Friday at 12. Uh, we will have uh, the final services for Rose Rogers. Uh, yesterday, her services were held in Maryland. And our final resting place, uh, we will have uh, services will be fr uh, Friday at 12 at the Gilmore Mortuary. Friday at 12 at the Gilmore Mortuary. She was 102 years old. Amen. And I do believe she didn't make it that far. Amen. With her hands down. Amen. She was a worshiper and a praiser. Pray again for the Dorothy Allen family. Amen. Her service was held, held last Friday at the New Mount Zion Baptist Church. Amen. Please keep them in your thoughts and prayers, the Allen family. Amen. And also, amen, the, that's the Allen Garrett family. And please remember the Stewart family. Amen. Receive the information that Miss Camelia Stewart went home to be with the Lord. There's so many. Amen. In our area. Again, the, the Dr. Mason. Amen. Uh, his, his home going was held last week. And we also ask your prayers, amen, for Miss Ann Byers, amen, and she said that she wanted you all to know, amen, and, and that she did a test positive, amen, uh, for COVID and, and wants you to pray for her, amen, and again, now you know what to pray for. Sometimes people just say, pray for me, but, but when you lift your hands in prayer, amen, please address uh, the COVID, amen, for her and her friend, Mr. Joe Dawkins, who is in the hospital with COVID. Amen. And again, please remember you want another. Remember the the the, the uh, Girodi family. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, the Grigsby family. Amen. Uh, Mr. Uh, Douglas and Miss Cowboy, Miss Willie May, uh, their, their third son. Amen. Uh, that has passed within nine months. Amen. Again, he was uh, truly a uh, blessed uh, gift to the world. He was a music director. Amen. For uh, many professionals. Amen. Uh, with, with Tina Marie. Amen. With, with Rick James, he used to play with all of the greats. Patty LaBelle, Stephanie Mills out of Philadelphia. And again, to the Girodi family, amen, we are praying much for you. Amen. And also, I have, uh, remember Preston Ross in prayer. Amen. Brother Preston had surgery. Amen. And also, Annie Linda. Amen. My aunt uh, received information today in Dallas, Texas. Amen. And, and no, excuse me, in Austin. Amen. She has tested positive. Amen. For the COVID. And I, again, it, 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 it might not hit your family, but COVID has sure hit mine over the past few months. And again, we pray that they will survive. And as your family will be survivors, too. Again, may God bless you so very much. Amen. Two things I want to mention before we go. We're going to have a water drive. This water drive is sponsored by the um, House of Destiny uh, out, of, out, of, out of Ballin Springs. Amen. With Pastor uh, Manley there. She is doing a wonderful job coordinating this, and we are partnering with her. And for those in Gaffney, surrounding areas, we will be taking up water on March the 4th, amen, at 1505, amen. That is 1505 Old Post Road from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. Only thing you have to do is bring cases of water, amen, whether you bring one case or whether you bring 25 cases of water. Amen. But the people, our brothers and sisters in Texas, those we know and don't know in the Dallas Fort Worth area. Thank you so much. And again, this drop off date will be March the 4th. Amen. From 10. Amen. To 2. And for some of you who may be involved in community uh, groups, activities, y'all want to participate, please do get involved. And all that we need to do is have the water there. They will send trucks, 18 wheelers to come and get it. So thank you so very much. We appreciate you contributing to helping our fellow man, to helping our brothers and sisters. I love you. Amen. And if you missed Sunday's sermon, oh, Lord, you need to go back and watch it. It's a wonderful sermon. Amen. As we talk, amen, uh, 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 about the ways of God. Amen. As we talk about, amen, in that sermon, amen, they meant it for bad, but God meant it for good. Amen. Please get out there and see that from last Sunday. And again, we'll see you again this Sunday coming at 10, my friend. God bless you with the Concord Baptist Church. Let's bow our heads in a word of prayer. 
Father, we thank you for our time together today. We thank you, O oh God, and we're going to lift our hands and pray. God, we just read about it. There's something about it. We lift our hands, God, to you. We lift our God surrendering. Oh God, I'm turning my palms, God, uh, to let you know, oh God, we 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 have our hands lifted to receive. God, I'm lifting my palms up, oh God, to let you know, oh God, that we are and we will give you praise and glory. We're pumping it up. We thank you. Bless every name, every family bereaved we called. God bless them through this trying time. We pray, oh God, for every student, for every parent. For others who may have to get off, we thank you for those who are on this Bible study. God, that you would teach them, that you would help us all be greater leaders. God, you already have accomplished much, but we know that there's so much more that you can do when we obey you. God, obedience is better than sacrifice. God, thank you for every church represented. Bless every pastor. God, bless every lay leader. Bless every uh, officer. God, bless everybody. God, allow all of us to be blessed as we serve you. We pray, God, for as we get ready for school to be over, help these children to make good grades, to get these scholarships, and to prepare for the next year. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Huh? Oh, I hope you had a good time. Amen. God bless you. I hope you have a beautiful week. Amen. And again, I'll see you again at 10 uh, Sunday morning. Have a beautiful day.